There are many models of pain that have been used to try and help us understand or make sense of this experience. Two of the more commonly recognized ones are the Neuromatrix model, first proposed by Melzac in 1999, and Lewis Gifford's Mature Organism model, proposed a year earlier in 1998. They both share components. One primary importance is that pain is an output. It is not an input. Pain is one potential result of scrutiny of many different inputs from all different systems, including context coming in through my eyes, sensory input coming in from my body, emotional, past experiences, and memories. There are other outputs that may occur other than pain. Could be motor system activity, could be immune or inflammatory activity. Pain is just one of these things. We also have to recognize that pain is intensely personal, subjective, and dependent on the context. As an example, there have been many stories of people who have had dramatic uh, tissue injury uh, occur, such as getting a limb bitten off by a shark while in the water, such as getting shot or stabbed on the field of battle, and yet at the time they don't describe pain. On the other hand, we look at uh, conditions such as phantom limb syndrome or fibromyalgia, where the person is clearly experiencing pain, but all of our best tests indicate that there is no ongoing tissue damage, and in fact, in the case of phantom limb pain, there's not even a limb there to be damaged. So if we can accept that pain is the result of scrutiny of several contributing inputs, we also have to recognize that it's strongly influenced by perception, that is, how the person perceives the information coming in and the meaning that they ascribe to that experience. <laughs>